What's up guys, today we're talking dumbbell chest press. Building our chest, front delts, and it's okay to look like a meathead, but I don't want you to think like a meathead. I want you to start thinking more about the joint function of the dumbbell bench press or the any exercise for that matter. Think about what goes on on the joint side and not just about the muscles that are working. If you're looking at a dumbbell bench press, you should actually be thinking about retracting your shoulder blades back this way and then on the press you're protracting. So think about shoulder retraction and then protraction. So when you're bringing those dumbbells down, you're retracting your shoulder blades down, opening up your chest and then using that bench press and protracting forward. So if you think about that going on behind the scenes or behind the muscle, it'll help engage your, your chest your delts, and you'll also protect your shoulders because you're not just using the, the muscles, you're actually using the joints and getting those those joints um, moving as they should. As they should. That's another reason why I love dumbbell chest press is because you could slightly rotate your shoulders externally by doing this, and also keep in line with the, the lines and the, the muscle fibers in your pec. So they actually come up this way. So from the armpit, they come up and they do it like a fan. So it's almost like this on your pec. So if your elbows are slightly down and you're pressing up, it's actually contracting in line with how the muscle fibers are laid out naturally. Retract, protract, retract. I want you to start thinking about what goes on behind the muscle as far as the joint standpoint and you'll get a better understanding of what you should be feeling and how you should be moving your body by learning about the joint functions as well, not just the muscles. So you can look like a meathead but stop thinking like one.